What an incredible intersection of energy we got going on right now. We have an election coming up, and today is Halloween. So an absolutely magical time, uh, a lot of opportunity to really be scared, right? And by be scared, I mean by an opportunity to really lean into your fears. What is the world going to look like? Who's going to win the election? What's going to happen in the future? Am I screwed? These are probably the types of things that, that are coming up, right? And we have Halloween today, which is a a remembrance of all of those spooky things, right? It's bringing it forward in our reality, all of the things that maybe scare us. Sure, we bring them forward in a fun, light kind of a way, but sure enough, on a deeper level, they represent the fears that we've had about stepping into unknowns or greater realms, just like this election is stepping into an unknown. So I ask you this one question. Are you in a position where you are ready to accept your fears? Oftentimes, most of the time, I should say, that fear, or maybe even always, the fear, as long as it's not danger, where you have a life-threatening situation, but those fears that we manifest in our reality, that we manifest in our head, our ego, and all of these thoughts that are trying to keep us safe are really keeping us small. And we are facing an opportunity right now, and you are being asked to lean into something new, to be a little bit uncomfortable with the unknown. And sure, there's a lot of fear being stoked in reality right now, right? You're being told about all these horrific things. If this one wins or if that one wins, whatever whatever it may be, whatever side you're on, remember a side is a, is a polarizing uh, thought. It's a polarizing energy, right? We are all love and we are here and we are navigating this process as best we can. But sure enough, you've got conditioning, you've got programming, and that may make you scared and keep you small. Here's the interesting thing. Your guides are around. They will bring that energy forward in you because they want to show you the energy that is keeping you small and keeping you in this confined, limited box, this limited state of being. And it's preventing you from opening up into the multi-dimensional you. I've gone through this. I used to be very scared of ETs, scared of greys. I remember seeing Close Encounters of the Third Kind when I was young and Love the movie. It's one of my favorite movies. But when I was young, that, that scene at the end when the greys appeared, that freaked me out. I used to have nightmares about it. In fact, I had visitations when I was younger that would occur around roughly every year or so, middle of the night, right? So all of these things brought forward all of this fear. I soon later realized that that was an opportunity for me to start to alchemize that density, that energy of separation, all of that fear that was keeping me small, I was being shown by my guides a situ through a situation that it was time to let go and embrace what was happening. So it was my mindset that was limiting me. My mindset was keeping me small. And when the Galactic Federation started to come forward through me, they manifested situations that allowed me to feel that fear. So I was stepping into, again, another space of unknown, of something new, and it manifested initially as fear. So if you're experiencing these types of energies as you are awakening or further navigating your ascension path, these things are inevitably going to come up. They were subconscious. They were in your field. They were in your body, in your nervous system, keeping you in fight or flight, keeping you small. They need to come up consciously into your awareness so that you can face them face the head on, right? They become conscious. You become aware of them. And sometimes your guides will navigate you into situations or manifest situations that will bring forward those emotional states. I had that in the middle of the night one night. Woke up with a fear paralysis. This is shortly after I awakened, shortly after I became aware of the Federation, shortly after they appeared in my hallway or in my foyer in my house. I started having some of these events that moved some of this fear up from the unconscious to the conscious. And I had to learn how to navigate that. It started by feeling my way through it. I had to calm myself in the presence of this energy. And it turns out that was the Federation releasing or assisting me or holding space so that I can release these fears. So if you are on an expansion path and you are experiencing fear over and over again, and you are submitting to the fear, meaning you are allowing yourself to be kept small, you are resisting the process that your guides are helping you with, that your higher self is setting up for you. 
That is to face these fears, to make the unconscious conscious and lean into that energy and feel it. If you can have the strength and the compassion and love for those aspects of you that were controlled by that fear and see it from that perspective, you will reclaim that energy and your channel will continue to clear. Meaning these messages that your guides have for you will no longer manifest through the programming of fear. They will manifest from a more wholesome, more genuine, more authentic perspective. You will start to perceive that connection with your guides in the absence of that fear. So we need to move through these situations. Everything that was unconscious will come forward and your guides will help you with that. So if you are seeing weird things, strange things, and they're triggering a little bit of anxiety, triggering a little bit of fear, that's an opportunity for you to bring it back to the heart, center yourself, and finally feel that energy. That energy is information. It is showing you that density was stored in your body and your nervous system was responding to it by keeping you small, keeping you safe, making you avoid things that your guides were showing you, things that you need to lean into. So again, this is Halloween. We're reminded of all of these scary things. When scary things start to manifest in your reality, do you have the presence? Do you have the strength, the conviction, and the compassion to be able to fully feel and embrace that energy? Your guides are holding space for you to do that. They are wanting to communicate with you from a conscious perspective, and they are showing you the way through the doorway to allow that to happen. I have people in my new you program, people that I've coached privately that have faced those fears and have navigated through them with assistance and beautiful realities, new realities, higher frequency realities are beginning to emerge. Gifts are coming online that they knew they had deep down, maybe just couldn't find it or couldn't connect with it. Well, when you dive into the fear, when you dive into the anxiety and finally face the things that your guides are wanting you to face, all of that magic starts to open up and your life truly begins to change. If you're interested in learning more about how you can get into that flow state and really expand your consciousness and start to ground and experience some of that magic, there's a link in the description of this video for a call with me. Take full advantage of that. There's no cost. We'll get on and I'll show you where you're at and what is in store for you.